With Snackbus, you can display messages for a few seconds at the bottom of the screen. And this is normally used to notify the user via messages about any information, error or warning messages, etc. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started with the most common snack bar that displays a quick message and then it disappears automatically after some seconds. To create this snack bar, we have here a button that I have created here with this button widget. And this is basically here an elevated button. And if we later click on this button, then we want to execute some functionality. And this is what we want to call here inside of this on clicked handler. Therefore, you can simply create here a snack bar widget and inside of it, you put then a content inside, which is another widget. And normally you put here a text widget inside. And then you also can define here the text, which is then here some string. And next to constructing the snack bar itself, you also need to show it then. And therefore you call here the scaffold messenger of context. And here on it, you call then the message show snack bar. And here you put then the snack bar widget inside. Let's also try it out. So I click here on this simple snack bar button and then it displays here the snack bar for at least four seconds. Secondly, you can create here this infinite snack bar that is visible until the user clicks here on this dismiss button. Therefore, it requires some user interaction to make the snack bar disappearing. Let's go to our snack bar widget. And here we want to create then within the property action, a snack bar action. And here you can then set a label inside and also what should be later executed if you click on this button. And now we can try it out. So here we have then this dismiss button and you also can click on it. And our snack bar was now appearing here for four seconds and you can also change it. So you have here a property duration and I set it here to an infinite duration, which means I put here simply a year inside and then it will always appear on the screen without hiding the snack bar. And now we can try it out. So I click on this button and you see that the snack bar is showing up and it is not hiding anymore. Only if you then click here on this button, which is our snack bar action, then it will hide again. And if you like, you can then implement here anything inside what should happen if you click on this dismiss button. And of course, if you don't like to display here an infinite snack bar, then you also can choose here, for example, seconds, and then it is displayed here for 365 seconds or whatever number you put here inside. Let's also look at how multiple snack bars work together. So here I click first of all on this button and then on this, and you see it displays some information to the user. And after it displays then the important message after the other one disappeared. And let's say you click here two times on this one and then you click here one time on this one. Then first of all, it will show some information, again, some information. And lastly, the most important message is then displayed. Therefore, if you have a really important message like this one here, then you can simply replace here this code by this code. And with this, we remove first of all the current snack bar if any snack bar is displayed. And then we show our snack bar, our important message. So let's also try this one out. So I click here on this button and on this button and you see that the important message appears here immediately. Alternatively, you can use instead of the remove current snack bar, the hide current snack bar. And this includes then an exit animation. So the animation is going down if our snack bar is disappearing. On the other hand, with the remove current snack bar, if we click then multiple times here, then you see we have no exit animation. One important feature of the snack bar widget is that it persists over multiple navigation pages. And this means we wait here, for example, for two seconds after we have displayed our snack bar. And after this, we navigate then to another page. And now if we try it out, then you see here the snack bar and then he will navigate to the new page and the snack bar is still visible. So we display here first of all the snack bar and then we navigate to a new page and you also can do exactly the opposite. So you navigate first of all to a new page and then you display the snack bar. So let's also try this one out. So we go here to the new page and then after three seconds, we display here the snack bar. And this works also if we have executed this code on this other page. So we have executed this code on the previous page and even if we have moved to the new page, then it is also displayed here on this new page. 
If you only want to display the snack bar on the page on which you have executed it, then you simply need to go here to the build method and here I wrap then around a scaffold messenger and also a builder widget. And now we can try our example again out. So we navigate first of all to a new page and then it should here display the snack bar after three seconds. However, you see there is no snack bar displayed. And this is because here we take then the scaffold messenger that is here displayed at the top and therefore it is also limited to this scaffold page here. And this functionality makes more sense if you swap here the navigation and the snack bar. So first of all we show the snack bar and then we do the navigation. And with this, if I click here on this button, he displays the snack bar and as soon as we navigate to the new page, then the snack bar is not displayed anymore. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description and with the second link you can get access to my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon, bye!